Hey guys, um, I figured I'd give you a little peek around what's happening. Um, still waiting to hear back from the team to find out if I have to go back into surgery to drain that uh, hematoma in my scrotum. Um, doing pretty well, really tired, and um, the night was really hard to get through. It just was just dragging by so, so slowly. Um, so right here um, when I woke up they actually had not put a splint on it which was weird so I could see the uh, wound vac just exposed and um, my arm felt pretty vulnerable I'm not quite sure why a splint did get put on it in the uh, OR um, there's some bleeding at the base right in there it's been like that since I woke up from surgery yesterday um, let's see if I can turn you guys. I'm going to show you uh, the wound back. Let me see. Let me turn this camera on. Oh, uh, sorry. It's not the wound back. I'm going to show you the blower that is drying off my leg scar. So it's pretty bloody. But it's uh, all pretty normal. And then I've got this uh, incision line that's visible um, from where they do the, uh, the nerve hookup. They open that whole area up. super pubic catheter as well. I asked them to put in a, um, a latex catheter instead of the silicone because I know a lot of guys have mentioned that it's just it feels a little bit more comfortable that way. So, um, so that's what I'm waiting on right now, just finding out if they're going to bring me back into the OR and, uh, and do that drain uh, manually or if we're just going to let it drain on its own through the tubes. Um, my hands, I can move no problem. Um, feels like a lot of pins and needles. It's gotten a little bit better since yesterday, but um, still feels really odd in my hands, my fingers. it for now. I have really bad dry mouth um, because I haven't drank anything since uh, midnight the night before surgery and I can't drink until I find out if they're gonna bring me to the OR to drain this or not so that's um, probably the the biggest frustration right now is just wanting some water and, and not being able to get any or um, they were doing ice chips for a while but uh, no more ice chips either until I find out what's going to be going on. So, um, thanks for all the messages, guys. You've been super kind. I really, really appreciate it. And um, I'll check back in when I can.